Hi and welcome to today's devotion. My name is Jamie and I'm a member of Youth Team. We are continuing our series, uh, Thought on Therefore Go, in Matthew 28. And we read about the Great Commission where Jesus tells his followers to go into the world and make disciples. This week's our devotion, we are on a journey of what it's like to live by the Spirit, looking at the scriptures in Galatians 5 verse 25. Yesterday we looked at walking in the steps with the Spirit, Today, let's look at a spirit-led heart. Okay, since we're living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. In Galatians 5.25, this verse reminds us that the Holy Spirit doesn't just accompany us. He leads us. He knows the best path forward and desires to transform every corner of our hearts. One key aspect of following the Spirit leading is surrendering all control. Often, we want to hold on to specific areas like relationships, careers, or personal goals, but the Spirit seeks to shape not only our actions, but our intentions. He wants us to release every ambition to him so we can um, be purified in our desires and shape our character. Imagine a life where the Spirit guides not only our Sundays, but our worship, our daily interactions, and our ambitions. It's a life marketed by peace, even in difficult times, because we trust in God in every moment. Um, a spirit-led heart does not merely obey rules, um, it seeks transformation. Letting the spirit lead um, might mean choosing to forgive someone or offering help to a stranger but, um, or speaking out for justice. Um, but it's a continual uh, process of letting go in what God thinks is best um, and embracing God's perspective. And I, I challenge you guys to, to ask God today to help surrender control. Let him into every area that needs uh, his touch, especially those areas you might feel like you've been holding back from him. So guys, why don't you pray to continue to follow the Spirit's leading in both big and small ways, trusting in him and because you know that his ways are higher, better and more fulfilling than you could ever imagine. Love you, church. Have a good rest of your day. God bless.